First of all, thank you for being here. About 3.20 a.m., Deputy Chris Lester of the Indian River County Sheriff's Office stopped a moped uh, for a traffic violation. The video you're fixing to see reminds you of how tragic and how courageous uh, law enforcement officials have to work in this environment. So as you see, it's very troubling video. Uh, Deputy Lester was a courageous, is a courageous person. Uh, he has uh, in stable condition. He was uh, shot one time in the leg, as you can see, a career criminal that does not belong on our streets. Uh, also exchanged gunfire to the point that as he knocked Deputy Lester down with a sucker punch, he continued to uh, stand over him and attempt to end his life. Deputy Lester was courageous enough to fire back, emptying uh, all the rounds in his uh, firearm, and you see the career criminal running across the street and then returning fire again. Uh, currently, that career criminal is at Longwood Medical Center uh, in stable condition, and Deputy Lester as well is in stable condition. When we see that video, it, it seems amazing they weren't both more seriously injured just given those circumstances. It does. It, it reminds us of the dangers that are faced every day in law enforcement. Uh, it is a war on the streets, and we're sick and tired of it. Do we know what led up to this traffic stop? Do we know why that deputy was pulling him over in the first place? Sure. He, the traffic stop uh, ensued because there was no tag on this scooter. Again, this was shortly after 3 a.m. Uh, this career criminal is known in the Indian River County area. In fact, about 14 months ago, he was released from Department of Corrections for attempting uh, to murder someone else about 19 years ago. Uh, does not obviously belong on the streets. Additionally, he was more recently arrested December the 3rd for possession of cocaine, and he's currently out on bond. Can you tell me what injuries they both suffered and how they're both doing right now? Sure. First of all, Deputy Lester has a uh, gunshot wound to his leg. Uh, the career criminal has a uh, gunshot wound um, to his uh, side and to his femur. Uh, it's my understanding that he is undergoing surgery as we speak. Okay, what can you tell us about Deputy Lester with his time here at the department? Deputy Lester is a 17-month employee. Uh, he recently uh, concluded his probation. He has an outstanding track record, uh, no significant discipline or use of controls or anything of that nature. Uh, he is a brave and courageous young man. What kind of charges could this, uh, this suspect, Mr. Coffey, be facing? There will be a variety of charges to include uh, perhaps possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. We know he's a four-time convicted felon, obviously attempted murder on a law enforcement officer. And did Deputy Lester have a partner with him during this? Or was he, he, did not. he did not. He did not. Is that pretty typical for him to be on his own? It is. Um, what's next for him? I'm sure he's got a long recovery. He does. Uh, we have mechanisms in place to make sure that uh, both physically and mentally he recovers uh, very well. He's got a very strong support staff around him, uh, as well as, of course, uh, the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. Uh, as for the career criminal, uh, we're not overly concerned about him. I imagine both are being interviewed this afternoon right now. Are you waiting for that? That will happen uh, eventually, maybe not today. Is this man from this area? This, uh... He is. He is a lifelong Indian River County resident. Uh, his uh, family has been here for uh, decades. Uh, he is, we are very familiar with him in the criminal justice system. Again, he's been arrested on 11 different felonies throughout his, uh, throughout his life four convictions. He did 20 years in Department of Corrections. Most recently was released from prison in May of 2014. Anything else you can add at this time? Nope. We just know the angels were looking after Deputy Lester today. Does he have family, kids? He does. He does have family here. Um, 
uh, recently engaged, uh, is not married yet, but um, uh, we're standing behind him 100%. How old is he? Not certain.